Okay, food diaries, part two. Here we go. are back with food diaries and where we la I have to stir something hold on okay it's probably gonna have to keep being stirred but where we last left off let me you know let's just go up here it's not as bright over well it is pretty bright now okay so I'll try not to stir the whole time where we last left off um, I had not had a perfect week by any means and um, we were just gonna keep going just gonna keep doing this and see if I can't get a month's worth of what we eat and hopefully if I include eating out and all the food that we've purchased it's well under a thousand dollars hopefully and we can get back on track so I just got off I, I was at the school this morning and uh, it's still lunchtime because I just do the school in the morning and I was heating up some leftovers for me and Rick he's off today we have some tasks we gotta get to. We're gonna go to hopefully get our taxes done. And uh, we have a couple other errands we have to run, including my birthday. Actually, tomorrow is our wedding anniversary and the next day is my birthday. <laughs> so two big days. However, we are not actually celebrating our anniversary until a couple weeks from now because we are so busy with me doing school and work. The school has spring break in a couple weeks, so we decided that's the week we're actually gonna do something for our wedding anniversary. So we're gonna, we're gonna acknowledge it, but we're not gonna do anything for a couple weeks. But anyway, my birthday on the other hand, I'm with the kids on Friday morning and I am, I'm looking for a birthday sash. It says like birthday girl or something, happy birthday something. And I'm gonna wear a tiara. I'm gonna dress up and I'm gonna buy some cupcakes for the class. You have to, I would make them, but you are not allowed to bring homemade cupcakes into the classroom. You know, they have to be store bought and allergen free. Um, at least for the allergens of your class, which the only allergen in my class is strawberries. So, um, that being said, I, we have a couple other things we're gonna get, but I'm still trying, the birthday items are not part of the food budget. It is food, but that is for birthday money. <laughs> that's, that's completely separate budget item, but I will probably show them to you. Um, however, the actual grocery purchases that we are buying are, um, we have to get mayonnaise for lunches, and we have to get uh, coffee filters. Those are two things. And I don't know if we're gonna get anything else. Who knows? I told Rick to, you know, if he thinks of something, let me know. But if not, we're gonna go with it. So right now we're gonna have lunch and we're having leftovers. What's new? You might notice we have a lot of leftovers. Is when I cook, I'll cook something, and it's just the two of us, so we end up having it multiple times. However, the homemade hamburger helper last night was so good that we really didn't have enough for two left over. So Rick loves it. He actually likes it with the peas in it. I don't know if you can see it there. But this is already cooked and I have some of the leftover mashed potatoes for him as well. And then I am eating, I am eating the leftovers that we've had working on for our last couple days, but this is the end of it, is the biscuits and gravy. And I'm very happy to have it. And I have some hash runs in the oven to go with my biscuits and gravy, but Rick wanted one, so I made an extra one for him. And I'm also gonna make myself some eggs, and he said he might want an egg too. So we're just gonna eat all of that stuff, just kinda clear out the fridge a little bit, and decide what we wanna do, go get our taxes done, and we are going to run our errands, I gotta go to the library, and I gotta edit, <laughs> I gotta come back, well I have some work to do for my actual job on my computer, and then I have um, to edit this video and the weird thing is my internet's been kind of wonky and they actually gotta come work on it on Friday on my birthday so it's just gonna be a crazy few days what are we having for dinner tonight that I don't know let's go figure it out okay first things first I did not have to pour all of the potatoes on this plate I was just trying to clear out the pan and it didn't look like that much in the pan and I was like well I guess you got a mountain of potatoes if I had put them on it's really probably two servings worth but he'll eat it. Anyway, and that's my biscuits and gravy. <laughs> so while I wait on the hash browns, which are almost done, pretty much done. I like them a little crispy. Um, we'll think about what's for dinner. I just asked Rick if there's something that he like. We're gonna be out most of the day. I do have chicken out thawing. 
It's my lunch dishes. I do have chicken out thawing. It's for the um, chicken that we have for lunch meat for the next several days. So that's that, then we're gonna cook that later. Um, I could do something with Italian sausage. Let's do an Italian sausage something tonight because we do have a lot of that. All right, <clears throat> Italian sausage it is. We'll let that thaw and something for dinner. I would make pasta fagiole, but Rick has had like a little bit of an acid reflux and we're trying to avoid things that are, have tomato. For whatever reason, tomato really bothers him. <clears throat> but there's some other sausage things that I can do other sausage like soups and things so we'll see what I can come up with but we'll see we'll see how it goes I'm gonna pull these hash browns out and we're gonna eat and I will see you at dinner time we'll see how the day goes and, and we'll have a haul okay it's dinner time I'm gonna show you dinner and then I'm gonna tell you what we bought but I am making a I took out the Italian sausage you remember and I am making um, an Italian sausage potato soup I don't have soups too too often but it seems like we have them often right now <laughs> this is what you get to watch um i also have the chicken out to do our lunch chicken i'm getting ready to throw that in the oven the oven's already preheated let me show you the progress on the soup so i have my mirepoix on here which is onion potatoes and uh, celery i also whenever i have a soup with kale in it i go ahead and shred the kale in the food processor and put that in with the mirepoix and to me it just I don't know, it gets some extra flavor cooking on the bottom. So that is about, Ooh. that's about ready. <laughs> the sausage is cooked. I have potatoes pre-chopped. And I'm getting ready to put all that together now, so hold on one second. Okay, where were we? It took me probably like five, ten minutes because it was just a lot of things going on. I had to put the seasonings in and I'd forgotten to put the flour. Like I put everything in and then I forgot to add the flour, which you're really supposed to add the flour, like the first thing. <laughs> so then I had to make a slurry and put that in. Put that in. Anyway, hey, uh, I still got to make the chicken. But I need to show you a little haul because we were out. And the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm just going to pull it out of the fridge here. Is this this is probably my favorite find of the day we needed mayonnaise now I personally I know this is like unpopular opinion and but Rick and I are in agreement on this we do not care uh, between like Miracle Whip and regular mayonnaise whatever it doesn't matter to us <clears throat> we'll, we'll eat one or the other on a sandwich like you know I think we do prefer mayonnaise but it's not like make or break. It's not like we're not gonna eat the sandwich. So anyway, and we don't care about name brands, but we popped in the discount store just to see, cause they do often have mayonnaise and we tried to see what they have. They had one mayonnaise that we were gonna get and then we looked at the date and it was out of date by like a year. <laughs> and we were like, no, we're not gonna get that one. But this one is actually in date. The brand is, that's smart. I feel like I've seen it somewhere maybe Food Lion, not sure where that brand is from. But um, this is a whipped dressing, so it's a version of Miracle Whip, and it is in date until December 2024. And it was only $1.50, $1.50, which I don't know if you've seen the price of mayonnaise lately, but they're like $5 for a jar, this size. And um, yeah, so I felt like that was smart. And so this is the only thing we bought at the discount store. Now, normally you can't use your debit card, or, you, or if you use your debit card at the discount store, you have to spend at least $5. We happen to have some cash today, like a couple dollars, because we, <laughs> we're gonna go to the library and pay our little couple dollar library fine. <laughs> so, because somebody forgot to renew the movies. But this made me happy because I was thinking I was gonna have to pay $5, and I didn't. So let me show you my other purchase that we've made. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I bought, but first I wanna show you this. The soup is just about done. I went ahead and prepped up some El Cheapo garlic bread. I don't know if that's cultural appropriation or not, but that is what we have always called it. In fact, there's a recipe for it on my video. We make it with old hot dog buns because we almost always have hot dog buns. I had some in the freezer that I had taken out to thaw and they're just kind of sitting there because we're not eating hot dogs. <laughs> so it's like better use those up, but I swear I think hot dog buns make the best garlic bread. I don't, I, I can't explain it, but they do. So anyway, I have that prep that's going in the oven right now. 
Do, do, do. Here we go. I'll throw it in this way. I still have to make that chicken. And let me show you what I purchased. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, my library had books that were 25 cents and they had this Passover book, which I thought would be really great for my classroom. It's like a National Geographic little kids Passover book. So I paid 25 cents cash for that. <clears throat> Again, not out of our actual budget. It's just like cash I had in my wallet, so just little things. So we needed, this is all Dollar Tree. So if you think this should be a Dollar 25 tree now, but everything's Dollar 25. So we got coffee filters, because Rick needed them. It was the other thing on our list. So we only spent $2.75 on things on our list. Now this is the birthday items. I was envisioning a sash, okay. The sash did not come to fruition. We could not find one. However, I did find these, which I think will do the, you know, have the same effect. So part one. Happy birthday, of course this is the tag, so that will be removed. But yes, I will, yes, I will be wearing that in the class. And along with this, because it's just how it is. You have to make the classroom fun. You know what I'm saying? So I will be wearing this for my birthday and I'm very excited about it. And the cupcakes. So we were gonna get the cupcakes and Rick, after much deliberation, decided that we should probably order them from Walmart um, for pickup for tomorrow because he said then they would be fresher. And he was right, <laughs> as per usual. So um, so we decided that's what we're gonna do. I will show you the cupcakes when I get them, but I'm very excited about buying cupcakes. Very excited about buying cupcakes. <clears throat> I'm also happy because I think we've done a pretty good job. Um, we have spent in the last several days just a few dollars. So I think other than the one day that, you know, we did get some fast food, but that was on the other food diary. We're slates wiped clean. We're starting fresh, but I still feel like overall we're, we're not doing too bad since the $200 grocery haul. So anyway, that's all that we bought today. All that we bought and we're still trying to roll on the next few days. So our, on the next few weeks on that $200 haul. So I'm gonna show you the soup when it's done and that's it. And then we'll be on it tomorrow. All right, so here is our dinner. I have the sausage soup and the garlic bread. Let me get me. I just had to go get a spoon so I can show you how creamy this is because this is like, I hate this lighting, I know. It's late at night and I have got to get better lights for my kitchen, but look at that. Ooh, you guys. This is the creamiest, best soup for real. It's got cheese in it and heavy cream. I need to do a video on this one for real. Um, but I, you know, a lot of times people are scared of kale in their soups, but uh, it really doesn't taste like anything, but it adds so much nutrition. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is so good, so good. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner. There's a whole pot of it, obviously. This is The light over here is blue, because I have, I have task lighting above my uh, sink. But anyway, we have all this left. So we're gonna eat our dinner, and I'll see you in the morning. It's morning. Rick is making coffee, per usual. Um, I've made lunches per usual. Now, I wanted to show you this because I do this and I don't know if any of you guys do this, but I made the sandwiches and I stuffed them in the bread bag because we used all the bread. And I'm just gonna use that instead of a Ziploc bag and put it in the lunch bag. And Rick really hates it when I do that. <laughs> but I do it anyway because to me, have you bought gallon size Ziploc bags? They are expensive and I, if I can save one for a day, I will. And that's a free bag. <laughs> so I put them in there when we get to the end of the bread bag and then I put it in the lunch bag. I think it's like some scarring from his youth. He's like, we can afford a Ziploc bag. I'm like, you don't understand me. I will save every penny. So anyway, I'm gonna put that in here with some water and some chips and that's lunch as usual. I, I think sometimes I'm hesitant to do food diaries because I think that you'll see that we eat the same things all the time and it's like, does that feel boring? I don't know, but you know what I think it is? I think it's, it's consistent and it's reality 
this is seriously how we live our lives and I think it's helpful to other people because I think there's a lot of pressure on people to feel like they always have to like come up with something amazing for every meal and you really don't you just don't you just have to learn to be satisfied and grateful for the things that you do have so um, I do have one muffin left from my fresh market uh, muffin package I'm probably gonna take that with me like for a little snack through the day because mama needs to pick me up we got work today and um, it's a long day it's literally seven o'clock we're getting ready to walk out the door we will not leave the earliest we will leave work is 5 30 so the earliest we will get home is 6 30 and then i have to start dinner so it's gonna be a long day but you know this is what it is and I'm thankful to work so i'm gonna finish getting this bag packed and we're all set. Do I know what dinner is? No. I'm, I'm thinking spaghetti again. Yeah, you know, one of the things, that I actually, spaghetti is not my favorite. I do not prefer spaghetti. Rick, on the other hand, loves spaghetti, and even though he's trying to avoid tomato, he begs for spaghetti. <laughs> he's like, can you have spaghetti? How about some spaghetti? He loves it. So, I know it's, it's one of those easy wins. If I make spaghetti, he's happy. So that makes my life easier. And on a day like today, when I work a long day, I can make something quick and he's happy. Success. <laughs> and plus he's really, like the baked spaghetti was so good last week. He was just like, maybe let's have that. Um, the sauce doesn't bother him. It's just actual tomatoes for whatever reason that are bothering him. I don't know, I can't explain that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. If I make anything different, I'll let you know, but uh, Get ready to head out and I'll see you at dinner time. And I almost forgot to mention, today's our 22nd wedding anniversary. Yes, do the math, we didn't get married till late. <laughs> the Lord had to work on us. But I am thrilled because we've been together 26 years this year. I had to think about it for a second. 26 years this year we've been together. And, uh, but regardless, like it's just nice to have those special moments. So, um, so yeah, we're not doing anything. I mentioned it before for another couple of weeks, but you know, we, we woke up and I played the, you know, Tony, Tony, Tony song. It's our anniversary. Play that if you want. <laughs> and he laughed, but you know, we're going to be working all day and we might have somebody come over fixing something in the house this evening. So just nothing going on, but that's real life, you know? real life I'm still happy that I've been married this long and <laughs> let me tell you something the Lord did that the Lord did that <laughs> marriage is hard y'all it's hard but we made it we're making it I can't say we made it we're making it <laughs> all right going to work okay it is I don't even know what day this is Thursday I know it's my wedding anniversary evening and uh, I'm here I have been cleaning my kitchen and cleaning my house really I came home and it just was like what happened to my house we just rushed out this morning and it just left it kind of a mess so um anyway I made spaghetti and that is at Rick's request I was like I really think you should have chicken and potatoes and he was like oh spaghetti you know he wasn't yelling or anything but <laughs> it was just the demandingness of it but um I was like okay that's what you want. Happy anniversary. So this is how I'm spending my anniversary. <laughs> Eating spaghetti. But I'm not going to It's 7.30 at night. I have not stopped running since I left this morning. And it's just been a very busy day. But it's been very productive. And many good things have happened. My boss gave me a very generous gift. And, and, I told you I was going to get cupcakes today. Let me show you the cupcakes. Let me show you. i got to pull them out of the fridge. Hold on. I don't even know what you saw. I'm going to have to double check and see if you saw my cupcakes. Anyway. Spaghetti is dinner. You can see the steam rising off of it, right? Um, I think what he really wanted is baked spaghetti. So I tried to make a big amount, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to put this on the table. We are literally just eating spaghetti. Like, I'm not making anything else. This is it. <laughs> so it's... Uh, 
what can I say? This is what we're having. So it's my wedding anniversary and this is as big as it's going to get at 7.30 at night. So, um, and tomorrow's my birthday. So, hmm. I actually don't mind baked spaghetti for my birthday. And then Saturday is actually when we're going to celebrate. Um, my birthday is tomorrow. Brianna's birthday is in a few days. Marquise's birthday is actually today on my wedding anniversary, by the way, if I haven't mentioned it. So as we have a lot of birthdays all at one time. So Saturday, everybody is coming over the house in the evening and we are having what we do when we have family over. We're having a bonfire <laughs> out in the fire pit and we're gonna have um, hot dogs and chili and we'll have vegan and regular versions and we're gonna have cake and it's gonna be great. So we're gonna do that Saturday. So. Yay! I'm actually very excited about the days coming up. I'm just really, really tired today and tomorrow is, uh, tomorrow's crazy because I have to teach in the morning and then in the afternoon my internet's getting fixed because you guys, I was going to put up the food diaries today. It's Thursday. And then our internet went out and I had to call the internet people. I'm like, I have a 54 minute video that I just wanna get up on Thursday. And they, could, they couldn't come out till Friday. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to let everybody know so, but it's going to come out, you're going to see it, and then you're going to see this one, and then you'll be happy. So, it's just, it's just been a crazy few days. So, anyway, all right, we're getting ready to eat spaghetti. I won't see you again until tomorrow morning. I will be packing Rick's lunch. I will not be packing my own lunch because I'm coming back home. And that's where we stand. So, catching you up. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. So, this morning, I had my birthday party <laughs> at the class. And it was very beautiful. I had this and I had my little crown with my happy birthday on it. And we had a big beautiful cake. And this is what's left. The kids wanted all the chocolate ones. Hold on, I'm gonna try to pick this bowl up so you can see it. I put all the vanilla ones that were left over that look like clouds in this bowl. And I'm gonna put some saran wrap on it. <laughs> Not have icing all over my fingers. Okay. And um we are going to have that for tomorrow. There's just enough for everybody that's going to be here that will potentially eat the cake. Um, I don't think Trey will, because I don't think it's vegan. So but we'll have something else for him. But anyway, this is plenty of cake, I think, for everybody that's gonna be here. We'll probably have some other snacks too, but that way it's not gonna go to waste. Um, lunch, this is all the spaghetti left over. I tried to make extra spaghetti and there wasn't. And I gotta be honest with you, spaghetti is not my favorite, but this is definitely not enough for Rick to have a meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat it so it's not going to waste and that's gonna be a quick lunch for me. Dinner. Um, oh, <clears throat> I didn't talk to you this morning. Um, <laughs> I forgot to take the bread out to thaw. So we had chicken, we had mayonnaise, we had no bread. Although I did offer to make Rick one with the hot dog buns that we are trying to use up and he said no. Um, so he said he's going to use his money that he keeps in his wallet. Um, he usually, by the way, just in case you're wondering, he usually keeps about um, $20 from every paycheck. He just puts it in his pocket and it's just like his little pocket money. And he almost never spends it all. This has actually been even more busy than usual. Um, so he's, he's going to use that money for um, his sub. He's gonna get that $6.99 sub at work and he's happy with that. And he bought his own coffee so he doesn't have to buy coffee. So that was what he's doing. Of course, I'm eating this and that's for tomorrow. So dinner, we have all that chicken because I made a bunch of chicken and it's gotta be used up by tomorrow, Sunday at the latest. So I decided to do a chicken stuffing bake my stuffing. I have some cream of chicken in there and I have this pasta I'm going to use and I have some frozen broccoli. So that will be our dinner. Pretty easy. I feel like I've been running all morning. <laughs> I, the guy came to fix the internet so I'm going to hurry up and eat my lunch and then go finish editing my 54 minute food diary that I was supposed to put up yesterday and we'll get that up today for my birthday. And um, yeah, and so there, there's that. I'm very excited about it. So, whew, and I got, I've got to run the trash out as well. So it's just no, never ending around here. Um, I'm, I'm very excited. I wanna try to get some college work done tonight so that way I don't have to worry about that tomorrow with everybody coming over. Thankfully my house is pretty clean because we did clean it last night pretty well. So there you go. All right, 
let me eat my lunch and I will check back in with you this evening for dinner. It's dinner time. Rick's making his coffee and I'm getting ready to put my stuffing bake into the oven. So take a look. There it is. And I just cut up two chicken breasts into little bite-sized pieces. Put some cream of chicken, some milk. I've got the stuffing on here. I threw some broth on top and it's going in a 375 oven. Since the chicken's already cooked, um, we're gonna go ahead and just put it in for like 30 minutes total. I gotta wrap it in foil and uh, it's gonna go in <clears throat> 15 minutes covered, 15 minutes uncovered, and voila. So I gotta do that and then get my other side dishes and that's it. Okay, this is the dinner plate. I have the um, chicken stuffing bake with the pasta and the broccoli and Rick's sitting at the table talking to Ricky. Dinner done for the night and tomorrow should be busy. I'll have everybody here so I, I'll let you know how it goes. See you then. Good morning. Rick's getting ready to run out the door and I almost forgot to show you his lunch. I did pack it today. There it is. Same old, same old. <laughs> That's what he said. He was like, you can just tell him. And I was like, no, they got to see it. I made the lunch. He's got his coffee. Which means I got this morning to get everything together, which I'm, the house is really very clean. I have a couple dishes in the sink, but overall everything is, is ready to go. <sighs> and I have obviously a little leftovers for lunch, so that's set up for me. I'm gonna show it to you when I eat it. <laughs> but I have some college work I gotta do this morning. Um, that's really gonna take most of my morning and then um, I would just wanna you know, spruce up everything a little bit. So that's my day. I'm, I'm gonna send him out the door. He's waiting on me. <laughs> and, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, it's lunchtime. It's a very cloudy day. <laughs> so it's not so bright in here, but I think you right here by the window, you can kind of see what's happening. But I took everything out for dinner. I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna show you my lunch too. So come over here and we'll look at it. Okay, so right here in the front, we're gonna talk about lunch first. So there's a little bit of chicken left over that I'm gonna throw on a tortilla with some cheese for my lunch. And then there's a little bit of dinner left over. Like Rick loved that pan, he wolfed it down. This I'm gonna throw in the oven and just heat it up and eat it just because I don't want it to go to waste. So lunch with some chips, by the way, I bought four bags of chips the other day. I don't even know if it's been two weeks. This is all the chips that are left. And that is because my husband has been snacking on them like crazy. In addition, I always tell you about how I'm buying chocolate chips. That's how many chocolate chips are left <laughs> on that bag. Because <laughs> those are his, his snacks right there. But just mentioning that. Because um, I was thinking, oh, maybe we'll do something like chips or something with our hot dogs. Um, no. These are my frozen hot dogs. Now, several weeks, probably months ago, I bought a giant pack of turkey franks and I divided them up into bags that have six in them for if like Rick and I want to have them for a quick dinner. So right here, there are three bags of 18 in total hot dogs and we're going to use those for tonight. I also took out some turkey, ground turkey and ground beef for dinner because I'm gonna be making chili with that. So it's hot dog chili. I have a hot dog chili recipe. I'll be linking it to make sure that you have access to it. But um, but anyway, and I'm also gonna make a couple of burgers for Rick because he doesn't prefer hot dogs. So this is what we have. So for dinner, we have a bunch of hot dogs, ground turkey, ground beef. Now, this is all coming out of our groceries that we have in the house, but at the same time, it's for my, you know, my birthday party, Brianna's birthday party, because her birthday is this weekend also. And, uh, and just, you know, a get together with the family. So that's extra. I think I mentioned to you yesterday, I still have the cupcakes left. So we're going to have that. I was thinking I have some red potatoes down here, maybe throwing some of those in the oven. So we'll have baked potatoes with it as well, since we have the chili, why not? Um, and that'll work for Trey too, since he's vegan, but he's bring Trey is bringing and always does bring when we have this, his own hot dogs and his own chili. I would be more than happy to make him a vegan chili, but he has one that he really likes, so he brings it, and it's like in a can, so he's happy with it. Um, so just a heads up on that, because he is vegan. He will have a vegan, vegan hot dogs, vegan chili. I don't know if any of them will be comfortable being on camera. If they're not, I'll just try to show you the dinner. Don't get too high expectations because now that everybody's adults, everybody, you know, they make their own decisions about what they do and I just I go with it because, you know, I just want them to feel comfortable visiting. But 
regardless. We're gonna have food for everybody. We always drink water here. I do have to, and if I do, I will show you. I think I'm gonna have to go out and get hot dog buns. I have hot dog buns here, obviously. I have like nine, <laughs> but obviously I need more. So I think when Brian gets here, um, we're gonna run over to the store because I need hot dog buns and I need um, water bottles because we're about out of water bottles and if we're gonna have everybody over, we need plenty of water bottles. Um, and anything else we might need. So if, if we think of something, I might grab it, but I'll let you know when that happens. So for right now, I'm gonna heat myself up some lunch. I'm gonna clean up the house a little. I mean, the house is pretty clean. You look around, nothing nothing crazy. Um, Maybe a little walkie through here. I have some things out, like this room is fine. That's got some stuff on the bed. That's fine. The bathrooms, I mean, I haven't even cleaned the bathroom. It's pretty clean. I just gotta wipe it down, you know what I'm saying? Rick loves it. He loves it when I put the bathroom on. <laughs> but I mean, nobody's going to be in the family room because there's nothing in there. And then my bedroom, totally clean. Um, my bathroom is, my bathroom's fairly clean. It's not, not as clean as the other one, but it just needs to be like wiped down. I mean, nothing fancy. The kitchen's pretty clean. I have a few dishes. But, I mean, other than the stuff that's thawing, everything looks okay. So, I'm gonna eat, clean up a little bit. When Brian gets here, we're probably gonna run to the store and we'll see how it goes from there. Me getting distracted and pretty much burning my tortillas. <laughs> I'm still gonna eat them though. Okay, all the kids are here and we ran out to grab a couple things. I'm gonna show you my receipt. I got a 24 pack of water uh, and I don't have it right here that they already put it up so I'm just letting you know, but the total is $15.97. And I also got hot dog buns, which were $4.69 for this big package, uh, kombucha, which was $3.99, and raspberries, which you can tell I already ate. They were amazing, $2.99, it was a little snack. So I just had to mention that and then look, Brianna got me a little hyacinth. She's so sweet. Hey girl, <laughs> they're hiding. But anyway, so <laughs> we're gonna go enjoy our time and I'm gonna put all this away and it's almost dinner time. It is now Sunday morning. I did not get any footage from last night. We had the best time. It was just nice having the whole family together and hanging out. We laughed, we had a blast like it was so so fun and then um, I have a couple of glasses in the sink a coffee mug but really Brian washed all my dishes <laughs> last night per usual he and I pretty much cleaned up everything uh, Brianna helped and then everybody else <laughs> kind of <laughs> enjoyed the time but it was it was nice for all of us to get together and do all of our things but I never showed you the food so I'm gonna show you the leftovers because I have leftovers of just about everything tell you about what we ate and tell you about today. So let me show you what's going on. Okay, so in these bags, we have the leftover hot dogs. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe 11, 11 hot dogs. Okay, they're something like that um, out of the 18. But two of them are beef dogs that a friend of Brian's brought with them and they were left over and they're like you could just keep those so it was actually nine of mine left over and then two others and then uh, and of course Trey had vegan dogs but he, they took those their leftovers home these are three baked potatoes <laughs> sorry the lighting is crazy it's first thing in the morning three baked potatoes that are left over and I'm gonna do something with those the smallest bit of popcorn which if you do not know this is my popcorn bowl <laughs> and it was full. So that's how much popcorn everybody chowed down on last night. Just, that's a crazy amount. Um, Brian had bought a, well actually his friend had bought uh, the cheesecake and then we had the cupcake. So between the both we still have some left. My mom requested macaroni and cheese so I made it for her. There's some left. I made a big pot of hot dog chili uh, which everybody loved. Brian's friend really liked it. And so this is what we have left of that. And these are the only hot dog buns we had left. I also made burgers that Rick ate and they are all gone. The light pouring in from the windows. 
Um, I'm glad it's gonna be sunny today. I'm trying to get here so that you can actually see what we have. So anyway, so this is what we have left over. <laughs> and I'm gonna answer his text here in a minute. Um, and we're gonna have most of this for, well, some of it, not most, certainly not most, but we're gonna have this for dinner tonight. So I do like hot dogs. I don't like, like, love hot dogs. I like, couldn't have them for like every meal. So I'm gonna have them for dinner, so I'm not having them for lunch. And then I told Rick any of the chili or the hot dogs that we don't eat tonight, we are going to put in the freezer and we'll have it for a quick meal another time. Uh, because I just, it's too many back to back, is just too much to me. So, um, and I'm gonna do something probably with the mac and cheese and the baked potatoes. I might just slice them up and uh, do crispy potatoes in the oven. And that way we're using as much of this as possible and the cheesecake and the cupcakes. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all that. <laughs> we're gonna just spread that out over a while. I might even freeze some of that too. So um, so anyway, so this is what we're, uh, we're having for dinner. For lunch, I don't, I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to check back in with you at lunch. It's still very early in the morning and frankly, I haven't thought about it yet. So, um, however, I have thought about Rick's lunch and it did not get packed because I did not make any chicken. <laughs> It's so hard to find that balance, you know, where we have the mayonnaise, have the bread, have the have everything all at once. And, you know, normally we do a pretty good job. This week has not been the greatest week on that. But um, but it's okay. He's, he still has a little bit of money left because thankfully his lunches are like $6. <laughs> so when he uh, has a sub at work and he works in a grocery store. So, I mean, he has a lot of options if he were inclined to have something different. So... He's having lunch at work today. I'm gonna find something here, like scavenge something, cause I'm, I'm not gonna cook anything big since we have so many leftovers. And if I have to, I'll probably eat another hot dog just because. But after today, hot dogs get frozen and I'm gonna have something else <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, Rick's off tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow except for the school. I do have to go to the school tomorrow. So um, yeah, so that's, that's our day today. I am home. My house is clean because I had company and everything is still clean. Um, so I'm going to find some fun things to do today. Fun, you know, fun kind of working activities. I've already done uh, the college work that I need to do for today. I already did that this morning. Oh, by the way, it's Brianna's birthday. Happy birthday, girl, if you watch this. I know it's going to be afterwards, but hey. Um, <laughs> and, um, she's 21 and she's going to Costco for her birthday. That's that's what her and Trey are gonna do, <laughs> and I, I they're just very normal. Mar they've been married. Can you believe it? Almost three years this year. Very happy. They had we had the funnest time. Trey is the funnest person for real. Um, we just had a blast last night. So anyway, all right. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I took it out to show you, and I'm gonna find some things to busy myself today. I think I might be toying around with whatnot on eBay. Who knows? But I'll get back to you. Here's what I decided to do. I decided to use some things in my cabinet that needed to be used. And I had some pumpkin that needed to be used and some oatmeal that needed to be used. And I thought I'll make like some kind of, I was thinking maybe a baked pumpkin oatmeal. And then I thought I found this recipe for pumpkin oatmeal pancakes. And I was like, ooh, well that sounds good. I'll try that. And look at, look at this. That's the batter. Looks pretty. This is the first pancake, so let me tell you. They are not good. Pinterest fail, for real. Now I will say, I generally speaking, having learned for many years, do not just straight up do Pinterest recipes. Normally I go onto Google and I look for recipes with lots of five-star reviews. And if they have lots of five-star reviews, I will try it. <clears throat> that being said, um, there just wasn't a lot of pumpkin oatmeal rest, oatmeal pancake recipes and I thought, you know, maybe there's just not a lot of options. <laughs> so, anyway, so here's what I decided to do. I made a, I was going to make two batches anyway. I made a second batch of actual just pumpkin pancake mix, which I make all the time and I know it's good. And I'm just going to dump this into here and we're going to try to salvage it. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay, here is now the combined batter. And you can still, obviously it's got oatmeal in it, but it's much less oatmeal-ish. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and throw some butter in a pan and see how this turns out. And hopefully I don't have to 
water it down a little bit more. <laughs> it's just, I, I hope it's better. I'm gonna try it. Okay, attempt number two. They look better. They look more like pumpkin pancakes. They're, they're, they're crispy, they've got the little edges. You know, they're gonna be dark because they're pumpkin, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna taste it as soon as it cools down <laughs> because it's a little hot. Let me get a fork. And hopefully this seems like it's cooked through. I was worried, the other one took so long to cook. It still feels a little doughy. Let me try this thicker one. Maybe it's just in my mind. Look at that. Hot. We have a winner. We have a winner. I'm gonna fry the rest of these up. And then I'm gonna have a bunch of pancakes to freeze. And we can have those with a breakfast dinner anytime we want to. So they're actually really yummy. That second that second bite was really good. Okay, let's make some pancakes. So while my pancakes are cooking, I also started some Italian sausage because another thing I wanna use is this, cannellini beans. I have a bunch of them that have been sitting, gathering dust, you can see. And uh, I found a recipe for sausage bean soup. And I wasn't planning on cooking anything major for lunch, but since I wanted to get rid of that, I thought, you know what, I can make it, have it for lunch, and then put it in the freezer, and then that'll be another quick meal that we can have later if we're inclined. So this is all freezer things that, you know, we're not necessarily, I'm gonna have a little bit today for lunch, <laughs> but these are things for meals coming up. So good way to use up three cans of beans. Got my sausage cooking. And since I'm staying at the stove anyway, why not do a two for one? And if I if I can, I, I've actually used a lot of mixing bowls with my pancake experiment. But if I get a moment and clean all this up, I might even make myself with the other can of pumpkin because I wanted to use two cans of pumpkin today, um, some pumpkin bread. And that's another thing that can be frozen and used at a later date. So, cause we certainly don't need any more sweets right now. Um, not that it's a sweet, but you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> anyway, so that's what I'm working on. If I make the bread, I'll let you know, but I still have a lot of pancakes to make. <laughs> and now the soup. So we're gonna, we're gonna get it done. Okay, I finished my pancakes and you saw them. They are beautiful. I'm gonna let them cool and then they're gonna go in the, fr probably the fridge first. And maybe we'll eat them over the next, you know, in the next few days we'll eat some. And whatever isn't eaten then, then we'll put it in the freezer. Um, I also finished my sausage bean soup. I'll show it to you. Okay, so here it is and just scoop that up, sausage and beans. Now, you know, I'm looking at it and I did puree a lot of the beans but it's still not as thick as I'd like, so I'm gonna let it sit here and simmer for a little while. And I also thought, you know what? I really would like to put some rice with it. So over here, I am cooking uh, wild rice. And when this is done cooking, I am going to add some wild rice to this. So it will be sausage, bean, and wild rice, and I think that'll make a better soup. So um, at least a, a more filling soup. I think it'll be a better fit. So anyway, almost done with all of these. It's 11 o'clock. So the wild rice is gonna take like 45 minutes and that'll be about lunchtime and that'll be perfect. In the meantime, I'm gonna relax um, for a minute or two, <laughs> maybe do these dishes. And if I feel up to it, do that pumpkin bread. I also, since I had the food process processor out, I went ahead and threw some more oats into the food processor. So when I make the pumpkin bread, I'm gonna use one cup of this, um, these oats that I've processed down just a little bit. I didn't take out my actual um, grain mill because I didn't want to puree it into a flour. I actually kind of wanted the thicker texture, um, but I think this will just add something and use up that oat, you know, the, the oats that I need to get used up. It's good to have a day off where I don't have as much to do. I mean, normally I'm like scrambling my whole weekend to just get all the things done. And it's nice to have some time to just like sit for a minute. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, the rice is done. I put it in there and this is the soup. I, You know, it's actually super, super tasty. So 
I'm very much looking forward to eating it. <laughs> so anyway, here's my soup. I'm eating it and I'll check in with you at dinner unless I make something else. All right, it's late afternoon and I had a nap so I didn't cook anything else but I wanted to show you what I'm starting for dinner. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have some tater tots because Rick's actually, he's on the phone, he's on his way home and it's quicker than the baked potatoes so they're actually going in the oven right now. And my stove is still dirty from cooking earlier. He wants more macaroni and cheese for his chili. So I'm gonna make another box. <laughs> he was he was mixing them yesterday and it didn't bother his stomach. So it made him happy. So I'm gonna make a, another box of mac and cheese because we only have a little bit left over. And then um, heat up the chili, heat up the hot dogs, and that's dinner tonight. So let me get that going and I'll show you here in just a bit. Okay, so everything's about done. Hot dogs are done. Mac and cheese is done. Chili's done. I just am letting it cook. And tater tots are done. So we are getting ready to put everything on the buns that we have left and have our dinner. So there's definitely going to be stuff left over, <laughs> but what's new? So maybe we'll eat it in the next couple days. Maybe we won't. Whatever, like I said, isn't used will get put in the freezer. But for tonight, we feast. And there's still cheesecake. There's still cupcakes. <laughs> I may have had a I may have had some cheesecake this afternoon. Just just a slice. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna get to eating. This is our dinner today, and so far, so good. Okay, so Rick and I just went to Dollar General, and we got some cat food. And I have the receipt right here. Let me show it to you. And I got something else. I'm gonna show you. Here's the receipt. I spent twenty three eighty one. Cat food, of course. $12.25. The Nine Lives was actually the cheapest, which was good. But this is the other thing I got. I got a little framed art piece for $10. And I have been looking for something with these pinks and grays and blues to put in my bathroom. Let me show you. Okay, so here is my bathroom. And right above is this picture, right? And this is my shower curtain. So I like having something pink here, but this pink and blue picture actually used to be above the bed here. And so I was looking for something that would either go better above the bed or something that would maybe go in the bathroom. Well, I think this pink and gray color would be cute in the bathroom right here because the white would match the towels. And then I put this back in that bedroom. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so first of all, there's that. Now it should probably come lower, except that I would like to get a headboard, which I think would come right about there. And so I thought that would be a good space filler. And that, but I think the colors, can you see that? Because it has that teal, it matches this room better. Okay, now, okay, I realize I'm showing this to you at night and the lighting here is not the best, but I actually think it looks really cute the gray and everything and I think it's perfect so for ten dollars what yes <laughs> I think it's very spring like and I have a really really cute one for the winter um, so yeah I think this will work just nice for ten bucks I am thrilled hey everybody it's Monday and it is very very late it's almost four o'clock but I went to teach the school this morning. Rick is off, so he was here and, you know, enjoying coffee as he does in the morning. And then I got home in the afternoon and we decided that we were not going to Instacart today. We were going to go by the discount grocery store because Mondays are their truck days and we've been going on Wednesday, which is our other day off. And it doesn't, ha they haven't had as much stuff. So we were like, let's see what we can do and maybe we can find some good deals and it'll really help us. And as per usual, we usually eat out on Rick's Day Off. It's like our treat of the week. Um, so we went to Burger King and we spent $16.97. So we didn't spend a whole, whole lot for eating out. <laughs> but, but that was our treat of the week <laughs> that, that we enjoyed. So, um, but we went to the discount grocery store and then tonight, we decided we're gonna go to the movies. We haven't been to the movies in forever, and our one of the local movie theaters on Monday has uh, two for ten dollars. They're five dollars each, so we're gonna go see a movie for ten dollars, 
and like have a good time and enjoy ourselves. So, um, but we're gonna come home. And I was like, you know, I really don't wanna have hot dogs again or chili. <laughs> but if we're going out, we already do have everything pre-made and cooked and we can just have a quick meal when we get home. So that'll save us a little bit of money. So I guess I'm having hot dogs for now <laughs> or something, something that we have from the leftovers. And that's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm thankful that we have food to eat. But we did get some really good deals at the discount grocery store and I'm actually going to show it to you on a separate video because this is a full grocery haul. So um, I have it on the table. But here's the thing. I'm showing the food diaries on Friday. Friday food diaries. And Thursday is my grocery haul. And I think we did amazing. I think it was a really good idea to go to the discount grocery store on their truck day. I actually wish we'd come a little bit earlier because the truck had already come and gone and they'd already bought all the produce out. So I did get some produce, but the people who came just probably like half hour, hour before me, I don't know why my eye looks red. I'm just looking at that going, maybe it's my eye drops. But anyway, um, the people who came like a half hour, hour before me, they actually had a lot a lot so i think we did pretty good anyway we're gonna go to the movies i'm gonna get this grocery haul together you can come back and see what we eat after the movies we're back from the movies and while we were out we bought these snacks so this is obviously not the one i took with me but i took one of these bags of pretzels that we got from the discount store for 50 cents, we took that with us. Um, I actually took it out of this bag and put it in a Ziploc bag so we could discreetly eat it. And then we stopped at a gas station and got this ginger ale and it was $1.61. So this is the only extra money that we spent because we just don't wanna buy anything in the movie theater. So that was all extra we spent and here we go. Dinner. <laughs> Hot dogs, chili, macaroni and cheese. The basics. So um, I have in the oven lunch chicken. So that's already cooking. I'm gonna heat this up, but I did want to mention one thing. It might be boring to some people, but uh, for others it might be educational. One thing that we realize that some people don't know how to do anymore is heat things up on the stove. People just always heat things up in a microwave and we do not have a microwave and I do not want a microwave. <laughs> so um, people often wonder how we reheat things and it's actually pretty simple but I'm just going to show you. So first of all, hot dogs, meat. I'm gonna put it in a pan with a little oil and heat it up. Simple, right? How about something like mac and cheese? What are, what are you gonna do with it? Well, I'm gonna, anytime you have anything like pasta that you put in the refrigerator, it's gonna dry out a little bit. So I'm gonna put it in a pan with a little water, just like a little bit, just so it gets moist and heat it up on a low heat. Same thing with the chili. Even though the chili is a liquid substance, it's got some, lots of liquid in it, we're gonna add a little more water because it just dries out in the fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and heat all of this up. Rick said he does not want any more hot dogs. However, he does want a bunch of chili and some mac and cheese. So that's what we're heating up and that's what we're gonna eat tonight, keeping it very, very simple. So I'm gonna get this heated up and we'll have some dinner. Okay, so this is gonna finish heating up. I'm gonna make some plates and that's gonna be dinner. And anything that is not used tonight, if it's mac and cheese, that's just gonna get thrown away. But any chili that's not used tonight, any hot dogs that aren't used tonight, they're going in the freezer for a quick meal at some other time. So none of it's gonna go to waste. It's just, we've had it three days in a row now. <laughs> so we have had our fill, but. All right, it should only take a few minutes. This, it was, it is nice to have things pre-made for a quick meal. And it, it is good. It's just, you know, anything, even if it's good, is not always its best on the third night, you know? <laughs> so, all right. That is Rick's chili mac. <laughs> and my chili dogs. I'm gonna put some mac and cheese on it, but we're getting ready to eat. Dinner time. Good morning. Okay going to work today <laughs> I'm you know I'm looking at my eyes I'm a little paranoid today because I stopped taking my eye drops right this was my um, last day was yesterday to take my eye drops and there was a little girl in my class that she had the eye drops and then um, it it kind of came back worse 
And so um, she had to get on stronger ones. And I'm kind of paranoid because I just was worried like my eyes are still kind of itchy. So I'm, I'm hoping you guys can pray for me that it'll be okay. But I'm like, I'm like, you know, when you get paranoid and all of a sudden everything feels itchy. So like my eyes are itchy and I just don't want to touch them. Don't touch them. I'm like, I'm going to be healed. I'm going to be healed. I'm saying it today. But anyway, <laughs> but, so I have lunches packed because Rick and I are going to work. We're driving together. I have, as usual, water, our sandwiches. I have some chips from our grocery haul. This is the last of the cheesecake. And like we have one half slice and one whole slice. And we'll just eat it, you know, like a, like a cake. Like we don't need forks. So, um, and then all the cupcakes are gone too. So that's the, hopefully the last of everything. I did have um, some chili and some hot dogs left over last night that went in the freezer. So already frozen. right here hard as a rock but it will be good for another day when we want a quick dinner and we're not tired of chili hot dogs so anyway tonight we are thinking about doing because we have the tortilla chips which I have up there um, like a taco salad and I have some leftover chicken from our lunch and I also have was thinking about making some ground turkey using that so either way tortilla salad for dinner, I was I was thinking to myself, do I want to do that? Do I want to do something else? Something along those lines for dinner, and that will be that. It'll be a long day though, so it's seven o'clock, seven fourteen right now, and I won't be back till late this evening. So I'll see you guys then. Hopefully, my eyes will be better. Whew, it has been a long day. Look, <laughs> we actually did get eating out eating out food today. It's my favorite. It's my favorite Asian place. I actually, Rick eats my broccoli because I don't like how they do their broccoli. Um, I'm gonna have sriracha though, side note. And I already said, I have a whole special way that I eat it, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, there's, it's six, it's actually the same meal we get. <laughs> we just divide it up differently. And um, it's $6.99 each plate, so. This is what we got for dinner tonight. No apologies. It has been a long day. And that's what I'm going to eat. <laughs> so I'm going to go sit and eat it. And we're going to relax for a little while. And tomorrow, Rick's off. I have to teach in the morning. And I don't even really know what we're doing tomorrow yet. So I'll have to check in with you on that tomorrow. But I know this. We end the vlog on Tuesday night. And I feel bad that I'm ending it with you on an eating out note. But at the same time, I feel like this is reality. And, and I think that we've been pretty good about not eating out all week. When we have had something, it's been cheap. And that's about the best I can do. I am going to give you a total at the end of the month. We'll see how much we actually spent. But, um, but yeah, so this is where we're stopping. So you'll have to come back the following week to see how we finish up. But this is where we are. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for watching our food diaries. And, you know, just keep following along. And we're going to see. Hopefully we can do better this month than last month. But I'm going to eat. You guys have a good night. And I'll see you next time on the next food diary. <laughs>